<laughs> what is up, everybody? As you can see, I have a very hyper special guest judge. Um, hey, come back here and tell everyone your name. My name is Adeline. This is Adeline, and she is joining us today. So, are, are you going to help me feed some fish? Yeah, what I'm going to help you feed some fish. Yeah, what, kind of, what fish are we going to feed? Are we going to feed the bass? Yeah, I'm going to yeah. feed the bass. Should we feed the, should we feed the gar? Yeah, I'll feed the gar. And should we feed the gulper catfish? Yeah, I eat the gar fish. The gulper catfish. So like I said, we're going to go ahead and feed all these fish. Uh, Adeline is actually going to kind of take over. She's going to run the show today, aren't you? I don't know the show I just... Run the show. <laughs> but uh, without further ado, let's head into the fish room. And uh, what should we feed first? Do you want to feed the gar first? Okay, feed the gar first. Say, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right, Adeline, what fish is in this tank? Uh, can I feed him? You want to feed him? Is that the gar? Yeah, it's the gar. Yeah? So should we show everyone the gar? Yes, show everyone. All right, so for those of you guys that don't know, this is my 11-inch no. uh, Florida gar. Um, this is a fish that I ordered online, had it shipped in to me, and uh, as of right now, he is still on live feeders. But I don't use those goldfish that you buy from the big box stores. I don't like them. They're unhealthy. I prefer to go to bait shops, which I've actually showed you the bait shop that I, I like. And I get these little guys down here. So as you can see, that is my quarantine tank for the little feeder minnows, and there's uh, even some giant uh, shiners in there. I like to use these. These are actually wild caught. They're sourced and then brought to this bait shop, so they're healthy, er. But uh, I still put them in that little quarantine tank, and I medicate them. I uh, quarantine them and uh, gut load them and all that stuff that you're supposed to do with feeders. But uh, let's throw a couple in the gar tank. This guy's fun to watch feed. All right, go stand in front of the tank, baby. All right, Adeline, come over here. Should we feed him? Look, he's ready. He knows. Oh, Adeline, he got one. I got one. I got one. Missed it by that much. <laughs> the reason I prefer using these over any kind of feeder goldfish is uh, they're actually caught wild before they end up at this bait shop that I use. But that led me to think that, you know, I could do my own, you know, catching of wild bait and uh, minnows and stuff like that. And uh, I actually want to show you. So let's go outside. And I am actually fortunate to be. In an area where I can actually go get my own stuff. So uh, let me show you how I find my own bait. So as you can see it's a little snowy here but sometimes all you really got to do is go out there and just uh, dig and uh, you know, you'll be amazed what you find. So, this is a massive, I don't know if you can really tell, do the fisherman pose, it's huge, it's massive, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so, nice pre-frozen shad, so let's go ahead and get this guy inside, we'll thaw it out, and feed it to the bass. This is a fish, it's not a stick. All right, so as you can see, we have the shad thawed out, and it's way too big to feed to either of the smallmouth. Comfortably, that would go against all good fish keeping, so we need to go ahead and make this guy smaller, so that way we can uh, comfortably feed it. So we got the knife here, and we're just going to go ahead and... <laughs> Boom, there you go. So we got this little small bite-sized version, and uh, we're good to go feed the fish. Grab the tail. This is our 
Okay, hold on, come here. This is our, uh, remember we cut that fish up and we made it really tiny? All right, here, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put it right here. And I just want you to push it in there. <laughs> here, do you, wanna, do you wanna use a stick? Did you put them in there? Now look, is the bass gonna get it? Yeah, the bass is the All right, Adeline, did the bass eat the, the big fish? No. So we're gonna try some of these, right? Yeah. It's okay, go dump them in the water. Whoa, did he get that one? Yeah. That was a good job, baby. Look, did you feed the bass? What did he do? He eats it. Well, should we feed uh, Millie? Do you think Millie's hungry? Yeah, Millie's hungry. All right, where's Millie? Millie's right there. You want to hold it? Yeah. You going to hold this fish? I don't want to hold it. Oh, are you just going to push it in again? This, this Let's see. You, you think she's excited? Well, show the camera. What are we going to feed her next? Oh, he eats it! <laughs> <laughs> was that some tilapia? Yeah, it was tilapia. Yeah, that's Millie. That's Do you think Millie. Mi is Millie hungry for some more tilapia? Yeah. She loves tilapia. She loves tilapia. Yeah. Alright, but what I want you to do is... It's the same thing. Touch it. So you grab it. It's like the chicken nuggets. But hold it in there and let her come take it. Whoa! Oh, it. Should we do more? You think she's still hungry? Oh, you missed. Do you want to feed something else? Yeah, feed something else. Should we feed the gulper? Yeah, feed the gulper. So we got another piece of tilapia because the gulper loves tilapia, right? Yeah. Do we feed him goldfish? Yeah. No, we don't feed him goldfish. Say no goldfish. No goldfish. All right, so I'm going to give you this tilapia, but I want you to make sure you drop it right over here, okay? So grab it and throw it right over there. All right, let's see. He's going to come find it. He always knows when there's food in there. I know where's food. Where is he? Oh. He's right there. Yep, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, would he eat it? He's cute. He's cute. Did he get the food? Yeah, he gets the food. He's very cute. He's very cute? Is that the gulper catfish? Yeah. Does Adeline have a fish? Yeah. What's Adeline's fish? Mm, Mr. Coolfish. Do you think, does everyone want to go see Mr. Coolfish? Yeah. Should we go feed him? Okay. Alright, let's go upstairs to Adeline's room. Say, let's go. Let's go. Alright, baby, where are we? Is this your uh, Mr. Coolfish tank in your bedroom? Yeah, my bedroom. Yeah? Did you set this whole tank up and name him yourself? Yeah. And does Mr. Coolfish like the big food or does he like the, the small food? He likes the small food. He does. Let's see. Is he going to eat it? Yeah. <gasps> Look, there he goes. All right, guys, so before I throw it back to Adeline to let her uh, wrap this video up, um, I think it's safe to say, after watching, that uh, buying this big old thing <laughs> and the other uh, bag of little frozen feeder shad was a waste of $3. <laughs> but, uh, you know, as with anything else with fish keeping, feeding your fish is really... An experiment. It's all about messing with uh, 
new things, healthy options, and figuring out what works best for your fish. Honestly, with these smallmouth bass, they'll eat just about everything I throw in the tank. Um, I'm kind of surprised they didn't eat these uh, big old shad, but you know that's fine with me because uh, they stink, and that means I don't have to buy them again. But uh, let me go ahead and throw it up to Adeline and uh, back to Mr. Coolfish, and we will wrap this video up. <laughs> That's right. Like, comment, and subscribe. And say, until the next one. Take the next one. I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. And wave. Bye, fish. See you later. See you soon. Bye-bye.